Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to switch your Panasonic camera from PAL 25p and 50p video modes to the NTSC versions higher 30p and 60p modes. On most camera brands this is a simple menu setting but unfortunately with Panasonic it's not that simple. Here I have a PAL Panasonic GX8 Micro Four Thirds camera and in the video options I have 4K at 25p and 24p and Full HD at 50p and 25p. To change these frame rates to 30p and 60p, first hold down the right cursor, display and AFA lock buttons and turn the camera on with those three buttons held down. The camera should start up as normal. Now put the camera into playback mode and turn it off while holding down the up cursor and AFA lock buttons. As the camera turns off, you should see an exclamation mark inside a yellow triangle appear on the screen. When you turn the camera on again, go into the video options and you should see that the 25p modes have changed to 30p and the Full HD 50p mode has changed to 60p. If you want to change back to the old 25p and 50p modes, first make sure that the mode dial is set to P and then hold down the menu button and the right cursor button while turning the camera off. You should see the initial settings menu appear on the screen and then you can just press the right cursor button twice to reset the camera and it will turn off. This will completely reset the camera to factory settings, so you'll have to set things like the time and date and region again when you turn it back on. And in the video options, we've gone back to 50p and 25p. I'll just run over this quickly again a second time. With the camera off, hold down the right cursor, display and AFA lock buttons and turn the camera on. Then go to the playback mode and turn the camera off while holding up cursor and AFAE lock. You'll see the yellow triangle. When you turn the camera back on again, it should be in NTSC mode. To reset it, switch the mode dial to program and then turn the camera off while holding the menu and right cursor buttons. Then, when the menu appears, press right cursor twice. You'll have to set the date, time and region again along with any other settings you had previously. As for side effects, I haven't found any other than the fact that you'll see the yellow triangle every time you power off the camera unless you reset it, but I've only been using this method for a couple of weeks so there may be issues I haven't come across yet. It goes without saying that you do this at your own risk. I've tested this method with my GX8 and G7, but from what I understand it should work on various other Panasonic camera models too. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching.